Back Kitchen is brought to you by Harvest Market. With fall's arrival, comfort foods are making their way into our kitchens and homes. And joining us in our CI Kitchen is guest chef Lisa Louis Shields and a smattering <laughs> of pumpkins. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you? Oh, we're great. good. She's got pumpkins on the counter, pumpkins on her apron. We're, it's just pumpkins everywhere today. Pumpkins. Oh, and there's more? Oh, oh man. And her mask. Goodness. <laughs> well, you dress the part every time. I try. I try. It's I impressive. Try. Let's talk pumpkins because I think there's a misconception that pumpkins are a vegetable. Oh, have you guys not learned yet? <laughs> oh, we know oh. the answer to this. If it has seeds, it's a fruit, right? Very good. Yeah. A for the day. I studied oh. ahead of time. <laughs> there you go. Well, we do have some fun facts here to pop up about pumpkins. Number one, that it is technically a fruit. Yes, it is a fruit. And they can be found in six different continents, and you can eat the whole thing. Really? And they're good for you? Well, there's, one guy, the the, there's one guy in the Guinness Book of World Records who ate an entire airplane. So anything is technically <laughs> edible. <laughs> Do you want to eat the whole thing, Lisa? No, you don't want to eat the stem. Okay. Leave the stem. Don't eat the stem. Okay. So, but you can eat the whole thing because I have baked. Baked? What? Baked. Oh, baked. Baked a pumpkin. <laughs> and inside is spook stew. Oh. oh how it, fun. Did you just bake it? Did you put anything in it? I or, put or did, is it just whatever food. happens with the pumpkin when you bake it? No, I put I put oh, okay. stew inside. Did you scoop it before you I baked it? I scooped it out, and the seeds are at home, and w drying, and so yes. Yum! What goes into spooked stew? There's rice, and then the little one has chicken, and the big one has hamburger, and then you can put anything in your refrigerator. If you've got salsa <laughs> left over, if you've got tomatoes, if you've got any vegetables, corn, anything you want to put in here, you can add to it. It's kind of like the bread bowl, mm. but with a pumpkin. It's yes. Exactly. <laughs> but do you bake the pumpkin first? No. And then stuff no. it? Or you do? You stuff it and then bake it. Oh. All right. So, yes. And it's all ready, and you guys will taste it after that. Tell me about some of the pumpkins you've got there to, to your left. It looks like a couple of them could use some acne cream. <laughs> This one's the stackable kind. Those are so fun. Aren't these cute? Do you know that originated at the um, Great Pumpkin Patch there in Arthur? <gasps> Stackable. Stackables? Yeah, we learned That's that from awesome. Mr. Valley last week. And then these are pumpkins that have uh, migrated with a... That's the coolest looking pumpkin with ever. With a gourd. Like these little baby ones are called sugar babies or uh, sugar pies. And, and you make something special with those. You can do uh, baked the um, sweet... Um, my goodness, pumpkin pies, or you can uh, cut them in, into wedges, or you can make spook stew. Or you make the, uh, the bread bowl with a pumpkin. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people like carving pumpkins. You've also got some tips on how to pick out the perfect jack-o'-lantern. What are we looking for? We are looking for, make sure that the stem is either green or securely attached. If it's not securely attached, that means it's been picked too soon oh. and it's starting to rot. Okay, and the heavier the Flip, better. The heavier the better. Flip it over. You don't want any bugs or ants or any cr creatures coming out of the center. That seems to be a good rule with most anything. Yes. <laughs> Pressure test the bottoms to make sure there's no soft spots. And if, yeah, yep. if that stem pops off, I've had that happen, and then you cut around it to scoop it out, and then you can't get the top back off when you're, uh, once you've made your jack-o'-lantern, <laughs> so that's Or you annoying. just take a spoon and... Well, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, not, not yeah. ideal. <laughs> but this one, this one is special on Heather's part. I did not know the name of this. I thought one. that was two pumpkins. It, uh, no, they're not stackable. It's one. But Heather said that you did a segment. I did. What's this called? At a pumpkin patch not too long ago, and they call that a monkey butt. Can you oh, see it? No, that's, does that's it disturbing. Not look Thank like, you. Does it not look like an orangutan? I mean. It's orange. And the red. in need of some medication. <laughs> That's another segment. Probably is. Well, in another segment coming up, Lisa's going to have more pumpkin recipe reveals for us. But all of her tips and recipes are on SalemLiving.tv right now. Thankfully, we have another segment coming up. We discussed that. <laughs> also coming up.